Fang Networking Podcast promotes successful business experts. I'm Tom Ria, connecting people throughout the world from my podcast studio in Brazil. Joining us today from Davenport, Florida, is Chris Mulgeri, certified coach, director of martial arts, fitness, and wellness at Synergy Center. So, Chris, what advice do you have for listeners who are looking to start their own journey towards improved fitness and mindset? Thanks for having me on. Um, let's start with the, the most fundamental thing is establishing your why. Mm-hmm. All right. What, why are we doing what we're doing? Right. What is it going to change for me? How am I going to improve my self-efficacy? How am I going to feel about myself? In, in, in 30 plus years of having doing this certified in numerous martial arts and fitness, I've spoken with many, many people. It doesn't matter, youth, teen, adult, we need to have a a why, right? And sometimes that'll change over the years. Maybe your why when you're a young person is different than when you're a little bit uh, older or when you're into the senior range, but it doesn't matter. Your why is your why and that's your journey. And that's what we're trying to establish together. Do you want better health and fitness? Are we looking for maybe recovering from an injury? Maybe we're trying to say, hey, I wanna start a sport. You know, I've got people that have been with me that didn't start jujitsu until they were 50 and now they're competing on the mat. Mm. That's an impressive thing. So it, the, the, the why is a personal journey, right? And, and, and because it's a journey, it will change, right? Or maybe the path goes left, then it goes right. And you just kind of take that in stride and allow your why to grow as you do. Right. The next thing would be once we've established, maybe it starts with, Hey, I just want to get in better shape. I want to shed a few pounds. I want to feel good in my skin. Right. How are we going to do that? Right. What vehicle can you commit to? Right. I'm heavily engrossed in martial arts and fitness, but maybe somebody else wants to start by walking every day. Mm -hmm. Great. Walk every day. What can you commit to with Patience and perseverance, right? So if you're patient with yourself, you'll more than likely persevere. And then you say, okay, cool. And and remember that you won't necessarily see the improvements Mm -hmm. the first day, but they're happening. The day you start walking, your body changes. The day you start walking, your mind changes. You might not recognize this. But slowly but surely, with that little bit of patience and perseverance, you're you're getting somewhere, right? That's very important. Now, I've got people that would look at what I do and say, you're nuts, right? Why are you rolling around on the mat with a bunch of guys in pajamas, <laughs> right? Well, I get it. That's cool, right? But the other half of my life is, is, is ballroom dancing, salsa, and tango, right? Mm. So... Maybe that's the way you're going to explore how your body moves, improve your cardiovascular fitness. People may not think about it, but ballroom dancing is an incredible way, which seems so far removed from what I do in martial arts, but they're both physical activities. And and coordination, you know, you're getting your body to move where you want it to move. It just doesn't move where it wants to go. Sure. And mental stimulation, right? Mm -hmm. Aside from connection with another person in in a very proper and and, and if I can say almost an elegant kind of setting, right? right? You have a very formal, you have a nice atmosphere, you're connecting with somebody, it's personable, but you're working, you're working your mind. Uh, on the other side of things, maybe, you know, you, you've you got some aggression to get out and you just need to hit a heavy bag for 20 minutes and say, okay, now I feel better. I'm done. I can leave that on the heavy bag. Whatever was ticking me off today, I don't have to take it home with me, right? So find out what you can commit to. And remember, consistency over intensity. If you've never started anything, there's no reason to do a a hot yoga class. And then, you you know, you're going to pass out or or perhaps you're going to, um, you're you're so sore the next day. You thought, oh, yoga, I'm going to feel better. And you didn't realize that yoga is a serious endeavor, right? right? When you get into it, that could be a serious practice which is beautiful, right? My wife is a, is a yoga instructor, but she can put you through it if, if right. that's where you need to be. But it, we're talking about beginners, and in my experience in coaching and whatnot, beginners need a path. They need something that they can be a little bit interested in, and perhaps that becomes a passion, right? And I would say that um, if you can find a course, something that you can commit to for two weeks, four weeks, start there. Right. right. Instead of one day, um, I change my mind the next day, invest a little time into something, right. see if it suits you. Right. If you only do something once, I'm to yoga tomorrow, then I'm going to jump to weightlifting. Hey, let's try CrossFit and, and drop some dumbbells on our head. That may not be a long-term strategy. 
right? But the beautiful thing about beginning is that you get to explore, right? right. You get to dip your fingers into a couple of different ponds <laughs> and say, hey, I, I like this one. You know, the, the yoga thing's working for me. Okay, so I'll do a beginner course and I'll commit to it because that making that commitment to something improves the chances we're going to stick to it. That's now, so now Chris, it, it, it's loud and clear what you're saying to me. Uh, and, and when you say why, all right. Mm -hmm. and, and most persons, I feel they, they'd probably have a why. Uh, yes. Because of the ambience, the peace, the, 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 their, their peer group, whatever. Uh, there are a lot of people out here that don't have a why. They may that not even feel they need it. And we were talking about that before we came on. We were talking about a, a higher age group. Uh, yes. You know, when someone has, you know, they're, they're, they're in physically fit, let's say, they want to preserve that. Um, Absolutely. But as we get older, we, what we, we, we see is we become physically unfit, and then we say, and we got to do something about that. So Absolutely. how do we get the why there? Well, one, when we look into our life, our life has changed over time, right? When I was competing and I was going into kickboxing jujitsu, I wasn't married, I didn't have four kids, right? Mm -hmm. Now my why is different. I want to be able to last with my kids and eventually potentially grandkids, right? I want right. to be able to play with them. So maybe my why is being around long enough to enjoy and be interactive mm -hmm. with my family and not be a lump on the couch, just say, mm -hmm. hey, you know, I'm coming over to see <laughs> grandpa, grandma, and you know, they're not doing anything. Right. Just, just bounce around on your be, stomach, right? So yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And and the times have changed, right? What what was fifty in my dad's era, in physical fitness, health, longevity, fifty is not the same thing as it right. was, or at least it doesn't have to be. Right. No, it really it isn't. Because you know, years ago, like my father would talk about fifty, fifty was sort of getting close to the end of the line. Right. Uh, today, right. twenty twenty four, fifty is not even a halfway mark anymore. Not really, right? And what you can do to change is so vast, mm -hmm. right? So when we say, okay, maybe it's maybe it's I want to feel better in my skin. Maybe I want to feel a little bit closer to the athlete that I was when I was younger and, mm -hmm. you know, potentially get into those things. You know, I want to be around for my family. I want to right. have a more robust kind of lifestyle, right? right? Maybe because I want to travel the world and I want to hike and I want to do things, you know, maybe my ankles, my knees, my hips need to work. You know, right? If I want to go, um, you, you know, you see this a lot when um, my family lived in Alaska, we would hike everywhere. You know, you go see the glacier. Mm -hmm. That that requires a, a bit of stamina. You got that, right? <laughs> but you're going to enjoy life if you can actually go out and live it, right? And, and be part of it. Be part of it instead of watching it on nowadays. Um, and, and I see this in my neighborhood. So there are some people that are sitting, you know, they're just sitting and staring at the screens. Right. The guy's got a walker and he's looking at the fight. He's, he, he's losing out, in my opinion. No, and I right? agree with it. There's watching it's, life go by. Exactly. So, anyway, what I hear, Chris, our, our mindset should be elastic, it should be flexible. Yes. Very much. And, and keep stretching it, and, and, and the stretch marks go as long as we, we can stretch. And experiment, right? And experiment. Try, try different things, right? Enjoy what we've been given. Very good. Well, how can our listeners find you, Chris? Well, um, I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Instagram, um, the SynergyCenter.net, um, CoachChrisMalgeri.net. Um, those are the easiest places to find me. Um, uh, we have virtual classes, in-person classes here in Davenport. I do a lot of consultations nowadays to help people sort of do what we're talking about, getting right. started on their journey where they are, right? Maybe mm -hmm. there's some things that you can participate in locally. Right? Those are those are the a lot of where I spend my time nowadays. Very good. Well, thanks for be here, being here and sharing. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Okay. And for our listeners, it's Chris, C-H-R-I-S, the last name M-A-L-G-E-R-I. And you'll find him at www.coachchrismalgeri.net on LinkedIn and Instagram. Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. More information at their site, focusmi.com. Talk to Tom, talk to the world. Thanks for listening. Till the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast. <laughs>